Poker Time, another heat of the PartyPoker.net European Open 4. The big names have been rattling their cages, eating nails and drinking whiskey, ready to howl their teeth for the winner's place in the semifinals, while the runner-up gets shafted to the turbos. Headlining the main event tonight, the runner-up from last year's World Open. He'll be bluffing his mug, but they can't all break glass, can they? I love the game of poker and I'm aware I don't play enough tournament and I thought well if I'm in front of a camera then surely I've got to try quite hard and you never know I might get through to the next round. I think at first I'm going to feel a few nerves but as I get into it oh, my character will show and then I will start picking off the players one by one, hopefully. That's what this week's about, um, coming down here, trying to win into the semi-final and then trying to make the, the, the final table and then pushing on to winning. Um, it, it, it's a life-changing game, basically. It's not the money. The money's obviously important because it will bankroll you for at least a year. But it's the title, it's the prestige. Winning this tournament would mean a lot to me. Pippa, my wife, won the World Open. My daughter won the University Clash, both TV tournaments. I've yet to win a TV tournament, so I have to redress the balance. When you sit down and play, you don't think what you're going to do or how you're going to play. It's just how, the t how, how things are going, how, how you respond from other people. You know, you bounce up, you know, if they're having a laugh and chatty, you go with it. But if they're all boring gits, you know what I mean? Bleep, bleep. But you just, you know, you can just sit there and, and uh, grind it out. But just, just play it by ear. I remember having, you know, like a frequency plan and just play it by ear. That one. I always enjoy playing in these tournaments. Um, obviously, I'd really like to win. It's very prestigious. Um, recently, I had a baby, and I've discovered prams are very expensive. Another peppy heat of this European Open Four. Six players, a hundred thousand each on the table, and uh, there's the shark. It's not worth anything, but the yellows are a thousand, blues are two, the reds are five k, six hundred thousand in play. Little cards about to be dealt out, and uh, Barry, uh, who's the pacemaker tonight? Yeah, I think you've got to look at him. Hasn't he? he's, he's been there, done it, played all around the world. You name an event, he's played in it, um, Jesse. So I'm looking to Woodley and maybe Luke Patton as well because he's in a great spot to the left of Woodley. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't mind putting that second raise in, does he? Yeah. No, if he, feels, if he feels you're weak and he, he puts you on a range of hands, then you'll see Luke, Luke like makes some re-raises and moves on, uh, on Woodley, that's for sure. So uh, Woodley, of course, a uh, runner-up in the World Open last year, and uh, also a uh, runner-up in the Irish Open one year. I mean, he's uh, a lot of the a lot of the top players really think Woodley. He's a, he's a tough guy to play oh, against. He is a tough cool. guy. We, I, I played with him in a couple of World Series events nice. last year, and uh, cool. funny enough, got got pretty deep in, in, in one of the events, and he, and he made it a, a bit deeper yeah. than I did. And um, he's got some moves, that's for sure. Limper and the blinds here in Holden and Flanders. Check. Holden. Check. Check. You need Check. this when, you, when it's your first time playing in this sort of uh, format on TV. A little bit of help from the deck. Flopping the... Uh, the Uh-oh. Oops. Six. Six thousand. Uh, Holden feeling pretty good about his jack three <laughs> with with it being checked on the flop. Um, Pass. No, no, what? no, 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 no! What, Jesse, what's going on? 
You are kidding me. Did he did he misread his hand? Yeah, there's just Did just, we misread his hand? No, there's there's no other explanation. Wow. Uh, gut shot <coughs> qualifiers have had a huge sort of record in this event so far. None have made the semi-final as yet. Nope. Historically, of course, Nick Perso last year was the uh, six, was sort of the form, uh, form player up until the very end. Yes, and basically went car dead Class. in the final, Jesse. It was a, and a very good final it was. Class. Yeah, Liam Flood. Uh, in the winner. And this is a big hand here. Yes. Tens against the ace queen. Be interested to see again how. We'll see a flop. Josh Tyler wants to play the tens. Quite slowly. Do, do you think he's made that decision because of where the raise came from under the gun and who? Yes. No. He's not spoken yet. Doesn't no. probably doesn't no. know Holden from uh, and now he must be very happy with his ten, check. Jesse. Check. 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 Maybe looking to check raise but didn't get get Holden to bite. Yeah, I um, mean Owen. <laughs> and check. check. He's trapped himself. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Well, uh, I mean, the good news for Josh is he's he's got an opportunity to do really very very little money with this hand. Yeah. Because I can't see the ace queen laying it down pre flop if, even if Josh re raises. Pass. I suppose you can call it a missed opportunity, Jesse, on the flop there, not betting out Probably with the tens. Yeah, put him on a six then if he passed the deuce. Uh, if, he's, if he's come here with the with the, the the notion to play it very slowly in the first couple of levels, then um, that's probably the, the, the safe and standard way to play the pocket tens. There's three on the table that I know um, from playing with him on the circuit. Uh, Tim, I don't know that well, uh, Tim Flanders. I've seen him on TV a couple of times, so I've got an idea what sort of cards he plays. Ian Woodley is a fish. <laughs> uh, Josh Tyler is a fish, so I've just got to get my fishing hook out and catch him. Welcome back. Still a full table of six in this heat of the Party yeah. Poker yeah. Dynet yeah. European Open Forum. Pippa will be screaming at me now for showing cards, because she never shows cards. Never yeah, shows me cards. Plenty of poker to play here. I'll show me. Right. Seen a couple lots of tens tonight. Lots of tens. Might be the hand of the evening, Jesse. You never know. The raises are going up now. Yeah, I And they go up with the poorer quality of hand, that's as well. That could be it. Could be. Tim's taken his time over his decision. Uh, Pass. And quite rightly so. Patterson's raised a lot of hands. Um, he doesn't have to have, you know, premium hands to be raising. I'll just swap my big blind back. <laughs> what do you see Woodley doing here? I can see him passing. Not a good spot to be calling a raise in. You can't have it. Cool. <laughs> out of position. <laughs> not, 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 get it. not without advice anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a little too strong for all he fives. feels. Yeah, the suited ace. Eleven. But if it comes an ace, it's not bad. Yeah. It's then lead. Oh, big flop for the ace eight of clubs here. One over card and not flush draw. Eight. Cool. Eight thousand four. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was uh, the verbal action was binding on both sides. Well, Eight. That, it was such a quick call. It, it kind of told me that <laughs> Woodley was Real definitely quick. on the draw, Jesse. It was a, a standard online tell for a timing tell as you'd get someone who calls quickly usually on a draw. So, uh, but that's not going to be a card that Woodley can bluff though, because is he going to be calling with with ten nine a gut shot draw? Ace ten in his hand. Fifteen thousand. I think that's an. I think this is an easy call for passing yeah. here. It's pretty fun. Three right. over cards. But if he reads it right, Jesse, with it was such a quick call, he had to be drawing because with any sort of hand, a, a king in his hand and stuff, you see aggressive player like Woodley having to raise on the flop. Pass. Is it fours or fives? Yes. Which one? Fives. Five. Yeah. Well. Uh, Four of them. Woodley uh, found a way to win that anyway, and it's a big old pot. 
he uh, didn't have to I'll hit his flesh to I. do it. My form is uh, not good really. I'm just getting out drawn all the time or I can't win a race if they got a pair and I've got Ace King, I can't hit. So I had a couple of wins back to back in South End recently, but so I thought I'd turn the corner, but uh, and then it's uh, just struggling really the last few months. I find uh, Barry, uh, <laughs> the guys who have the best results in this format, they, so they, they seem to win now. to win some pots by hook or by crook. They just, I don't know how they win them, but they win them. Usually by aggression, yeah. you find, Jesse. That's, <coughs> that usually wins the day in these... Uh, six. Raised to 6,000 total. Quite quick six-handed right. format. Not really. I'm a bit tired. I want to go home. <laughs> Patterson uh, mm. seems like a Which nice guy. I think sometimes... It, the closest one. You know, he may that's, have come in here sort of with an idea to sort of sit that's back early and see what happens, but his cards haven't allowed it. He's, he's picked up some big hands sure already. Like. Cool. 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 Pass. Me and you again, Gaza. Did I, so the eights are dead. You must be stronger this did, time. Did, did Tyler's Tyler Tyler already eights. folded, folded <laughs> eights. So you're and, assuming I've got some kind of strategy. Yep. No. No. Once again, Woodley calling Patterson out of position. <laughs> the roles yeah. reverse this time, Jesse. Patterson now flops the uh, the flush oh, draw. Not only that, but because of what happened last time, oh. Patterson's going to get a lot more stubborn with these. Woodley's going to have trouble taking them off him, isn't he? How's he thinking? What is he thinking about this? <coughs> it's a lovely <laughs> flop for us, isn't he? On that it flat. looks like one. It's almost like Woodley senses that this guy is uh, going to be a bit stubborn right now, and he better be willing to commit Very if he means to. Very hard to put down, isn't it? It is, yeah. I wonder if these guys know each other. Yeah, they do. They they they, they play at some uh, local casinos in London together, so. There'll be some history anyway. There'll be some. The problem with calling here for Woodley, and, and, and Ian Woodley knows this, is cool. he's still first to act Good when call. he comes call on the call. turn. Right. And, 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 it would help me to give an opinion if I saw what you got, but I would imagine it's quite a good call. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel better now. It's good bet, too. Until the card comes. Ah. Good bluff no, card here for uh, for Patterson. That's a good point. Oh, as Patterson knuckled it here, he needs to hit now. Jack King tenor spade. And this would be about the stage when Ian knows he's best, isn't it? Is this a, a defensive bet? You Five thousand. A bit of a blocker, maybe. Yeah. He's like, you know what? I think mites are good, but let me just save you trying to get in with. God damn. I think that was Sting a mistake rolling. from Patterson there, uh, Jesse. I think a bet on the turn. He's increased his outs, obviously. Now gives him a, str a gut shot straight draw as well. And uh, Woodley really has his number. Well, we've played the first level. I guess the good news for all these players, nobody has put themselves out of it yet. Well, I suppose the, the, the story of the first level would be the Patterson-Woodley story where Woodley's been spanking his backside three times and uh, Patterson good. just really just keep it. away it from good. Woodley. That's what's going to happen going forward in this tournament. The blinds go to two and four thousand. I wonder what That's is in Tyler's mind. He's he's lost about 10% of his stuff. <coughs> shouldn't panic. <coughs> this could be considered a little bit of a gear change. Maybe Raised maybe level two was his was his gear change time where he was going to come down a couple of levels of his starting range. And uh, Holden's. This will give us a decent indicator of what what Holden's come to cool. do today. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Why do you think I the call? He didn't want to fold them, and perhaps the fact that he's in position maybe influenced him to call. Or? Maybe. <laughs> but it is twelve thousand's getting to be the kind of thing you don't want to just be. Well, you know. the problem, Jesse, if, if, the, if Ray, he stuck it in for twelve, what, what's the re-raise going to be? Thirty-five. Right. Forty k. You're looking at nearly half your stack. Right. Woodley thinking of the squeeze. Yes, thinking, thinking, it's, of the, it's, thinking it's of the not squeeze. that big a holding to be putting half your stack in with. It'll be uh, eight thousand on uh, Woodley. What? Who's, who's actually the only guy at the table? Why, because it was your you know, He's got enough no. chips where he can That's actually spend a little if he wants. Absolutely. To. Might not want to spend any. I don't know. I think he might want to put a squeeze play on. S a squeeze may work here, Jesse. Absolutely. 
but Woodley knows the, the uh, power of position. He knows that he's in a really bad spot. He's going to be first to act. Because Tyler's in the cutoff, Holden's on the button. It's a bad spot for Queen Jack suited here, calling a raise against two other players. There's something you don't like about it. I wonder if he, he, he wasn't so really sure about Holden. He hasn't, I think this is the first time Holden's friendly. called a raise. Yeah. Depends what comes. Depends, yeah. It, depends if you eat. And then bet. Stop. I don't need to hit. Stop begging. Me begging. Good flop for the eights. Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 Woodley would have Woodley. <laughs> he would have gotten stuff. Oh, dear. He would have been outspaded by out. Tyler. What is he, psychic? I bet he's kicking himself at the moment, Woodley, thinking, <sighs> damn, two overs and a flush draw. But um, he doesn't know how, how much of a bad shape he would have been in. It's gone to, uh, Tyler's checked it. Holden's bet 15,000. And uh, this is a this massive, is massive decision for Tyler. He could conceivably push in here. The only, the only thing he can be worried about is if he thinks that Holden's got a 10 in his hand, where he's not going to lose him. 15's a lot of money to call right now, isn't it? Was he going to check raise with the A7? That's what he's going to try and do. It would work. Oh, sure, we can see one more card. Well, well, he's decided he's got enough to spend it, huh? Wow. What do you think he's going to do if he misses? Jesse's, check, check Jesse's a big pot here. So what has he got? He has got seven outs with the two spades gone of Woodley, and he's got three aces in the hand. It's probably the worst card in the deck for Tyler. Check. Uh, could encourage him to get the rest of his chips in. Has he got enough to make him pass any bets? 20,000. Still a small bet, Jesse. That does look like, you know what, I've got a smallish hand, but I still think I'm winning, kind of. Let me put a feeler out there. The problem is, um, what's Tyler got left? He's got to just pull one over. On Something him, around 60. Would be enough if he pushed. Decided just to call. This is um, this pot's 100k. Tyler needs a spade. He needs an ace. He needs a seven. The rest of the cards are Holden's. Wow. I think that was the that was the power of being 20 years old. <laughs> Can he muster a check now, Jesse? He's probably not going to get a bet out of um, out of Holden now because it. it Looked like he was drawing. It, it looks like the way this plays this, it, it, it looks like Tyler put Holden on roughly the hand he has. And how happy is Woodley going to be looking back at this moment? Yeah, it's pretty gut. It's pretty gutting stuff for uh, Holden, who's played this hand nice and aggressively, and uh, is about to laughing? get trushed. Um, laughing. I don't know. He, he, Holden might have wished he bet more in the turn, but that's all hindsight 2020 stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Tyler's going to have a nice big stack after the end of this one. Didn't like the way he played this, Jesse, I must say. Too much calling? Yeah, I didn't like the call on the turn. You've got to make a decision. He's got 42,000, Tyler, and he's really taken his time with it. I don't know what the bet size is. I, I, I think Holden's going to have trouble putting this down. Um, I mean, uh, Stephen, obviously, uh, you can see the shirt, the title, the resume. He, uh, he knows what's going I on. Committed. I won't be. No, I think I'm committed. What if I go over the top? <laughs> I was never said, to, I was said to be a good grinder, but I'm not the, uh, not the best. Try to talk him into this one, huh? Tend to play my stack. He, did, he didn't say much while he was drawing, did he? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a lot easier to open your mouth once you have to fit spade, I guess. Every time he's opened his mouth, Jesse's had a hand, isn't I, he? I you feel, this. Yeah, I feel really bad for Stephen Holden right now. Uh, I mean, uh, 25,000. You just get so curious, don't you? I mean,. It's like it couldn't even have been like a king of oh, cool. spades or something. But it had to be to four. What can, he, 
Yeah. You got a flushy win. Because he played it so bad on the turn, it, it completely... It's completely bamboozled yeah, I didn't him. didn't want us played on that call. Big flush for Josh Tyler and Holden, yeah. That was, uh, looked like his heat right there. That was definitely his pot. But uh, the kid, the shark. Yeah, we had the tent. Yes, the Northwest yes. London boy from Mill Hill <laughs> firmly goes into, huh? the, uh, into the lead with this one. 167,000 for the strange, It was a strange pot, Jesse, wasn't it? It really was a strangely played pot. It was. I mean, uh, at yeah, the end, no. there was a couple of things. You know, Holden's bet on the turn, I guess, wasn't that big. Wasn't big, no. And, 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 uh, and, and, and Tyler must have felt like um, so lucky. Yeah. It's sick, it? you right. know, he wasn't going to be able to raise an amount that was going to get the guy off the hand. He See, wanted to he, get him off. He may say, you know what, I was priced yeah. in. There was, there was pot odds and stuff. But when you've only got 30k left, if it doesn't come a spade or an ace on the river, um, you're in pretty bad shape. One thing's for sure, and that's that uh, Holden is uh, going to be a little hot under the collar. 16. <laughs> To 16, I mean, you can't blame the guy. Oh, Flanders is going to eat him up. Yes. I mean, you can't blame the guy. <laughs> He's just lost a massive pot and then gets ace 10 on the cutoff back. Um, I mean, uh, and uh, he's committed now, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, only, only the hardest of hair shirts would have, would have been able to fold in that spot. I mean, you know, and uh, this could be the end of Stephen Holden. I mean, as you can tell, he's he's not he's not a machine. I mean, uh, Ace Ten is it's not put, you can't put Ace Ten down for the re-raise after you've just lost 167,000 baht. Absolutely not. Not when it's your last 18,000. Yeah. You wouldn't really begrudge uh, holding a split pot here. Trying. To no, a tray would be good. A ten would win it as well. Uh, it'd be great news for Tim Flanders if uh, to make the ace queen hold. It's non substantial pot, Jesse. 74k. Yeah, I hadn't realized it was that big. <laughs> it's pretty big, isn't it? No. So, any 10, any 3, any 5. 10. Right, you are. Or Holden is three, a six five. place man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, so obviously, the key pot there. Barry, uh, the hand against Josh Tyler, not the last one. And uh, Holden will think about it, but at the end of the day, he just didn't make the best hand at the river. Nope. He played it. He played his flush draw extremely strangely, and uh, it completely bamboozled him. And, um, you know, sitting pretty, looking good on over 100k, crash bang wallop out in sixth position. It's just disappointing going out first, you know, when you, when you know you've come with a game plan. Um, I knew I was I knew I was ahead with, with Josh all the way to the river and, and I had to pay to see his flush. So yeah, just a bit disappointing really. <laughs> Welcome back. We've lost one. Five still playing here at the partypoker.net I like cracking You're big open for. I like having the opportunity to crack I don't know if Patterson's well. thinking right yeah. now. He's thinking, nah, I've got to play this hand, but it. there's no way I'm going to win with it. <laughs> cool. He's not to win. He's The succession of cool. mediocre hands. <laughs> so that's what must happen to, to players when you've been, you know, kicked from pillar to post. For, with, yeah, especially yeah. when Woodley's in the blinds and he can't get anything past Woodley. Right. Confidence must be extremely low at the moment. Yeah. Check. Check. Patterson Check. can, can Check. muster Check. A, a bet, which he can't. A twelve thousand. Oh, geez, that's made Flanders a straight. A yeah. Clear. And it and, and uh, turned a turned a nut flush draw for Patterson. 6, and a pair for Woodley. It's pretty impossible for Gary to fold here, and his stack is so short. Rice. Rice. Oh dear. Yeah. This is, this is going to get ugly. 15,000. See what he's thinking about, Barry, but Tim's going to play this through, isn't he? And cool. Wow. Tim's just called it. Is this because uh, 
I don't think it, I don't think there's any fold equity for uh, <laughs> check. Check. I don't think he would have got Patterson to fold. That's the problem. All in. All in. So yeah. demands no extra diamond, I call it. And the money yes. card. Yep. Wow. Bingo it's card for Gary call. Patterson and. Uh, I don't, yeah, I think Tim played that quite well, actually, yeah. um, Jesse, because I don't think he can get Patterson to pass because his, his stack's so short. Maybe he would have passed. Why? He's still calls. He's with, with the chips he's got, he's calling the re -rest. Yeah, Absolutely. Yes, you are. Gary Patterson, though, out of jail with the diamond on the Squeaked river. Too many chips there. And, uh, chips he's got left. He's probably going to call it. Up to 87,000. Flanders sort of with the rough the consolation bombs. of doing the, the right yeah, thing. He was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah You're of the mind, and, and I know a lot of people are, that... You know, Showing cards is well. very she dangerous, and that you shouldn't do it unless you know exactly what your intention is. Absolutely. If you if you're doing it for a reason, then um, do so. But cool. he, I don't think he does. Cool. All he's trying yeah, to say is, look, I'm a solid player. But yeah. they know this. Yeah. Only if you let it. And uh, this Tyler. Uh, all right, then. He's one of those young guys who uh, cool. obviously just eats up information and like no crazy. Mm -hmm. No race from me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to give him a weapon to use. This is a. Uh, comes high, Jesse. There's going to be carnage on this oh one. Oh, my. Uh, Woodley started limping and it broke out all over the place. Oh, hello. Jeez, everybody's got something. <laughs> oh, Check. hello. Everybody's got something. Tim's trying to work out exactly what he's got. Um, top pair's good. Six he thinks there's two flush draws out here. One of them's a straight flush draw, and the other guy's got two pairs. Cool. I think percentage-wise, yeah, Flanders is in real trouble. Cool. I think the paired board is the one that's going to save both Woodley and Patton from getting really busy on this one. So Tyler Tyler's very thinking, hold on, what's going on here? It's got nothing, but he's still thinking. Is my Jack any good? Look, look, there's been a bet in two calls. I mean, mm. I mean be very odd for them not to be an eight out there. Wow. He, he can't believe his, his, his hand is any good. As no. it turns out, that's going to give Tim a lot of wins here. But there are a lot of cards that Tyler would have Look to miss. Look at that. Flanders went from a 5%er to 42. Yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Check. Check. Theoretically, it'd be the end of Ian Wooden. Well, I'm about the end, but I think we're going to see Luke Patton uh, doubling up here. 14,000. I cannot see in a month of Sundays Luke's going to pass. Raise. No. 14 more. Raise. 14 more. Minimum bet. Minutes. And uh, this will send Woodley to the tank. H how does he replay this? What? I mean, he knows He knows. Pat can't be bluffing here, can he? No. Could he have three eights? It's the only hand that Woodley wants to now see he's got. He's got an eight in his hand. Is he got a, would he be calling him with a seven or lower flush? Pre-flop with, with, with a suited seven or a suited Woodley six. Woodley gets terrored so hard. <laughs> if Woodley gets one away from this one, it would be a miracle. It's, it's quite an amazing hand. In, in, some, in some, some countries, they would have just stuck all the money in four ways on the flop and seen what happened. I think that's what, <laughs> that's what Woodley's going to do now. I think he's going to stick him in, is he? Great, great news for Luke Patton. He hasn't gotten much of the cards tonight. This could be the start of something special. <laughs> See the shrug. And he's, he's called this. He, what, does he want to see what happens on the river? Did you change? Seven no. or queen of spades yeah. will make Woodley the straight flush. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Only the seven, Jesse, because uh, Patton's got the queen, hasn't he? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there is that. So there's only one out he's got. Now, the only thing that's going to slow them both down is another pair. Oh, jeez. Now, that may... She's, I mean, if Woodley puts a pattern on a higher flush, could he actually bluff it here? Is there, a, is there a bluff here for Ian? No, I mean, that would be... You'd have to know what the man had, wouldn't you? Yeah, 20... 13. There's no... There's no way. What a horrible card. <laughs> what a horrible card. <laughs> what is going through what you said? <coughs> now, is he asking him, saying to himself, has he, did he have a house on the turn with the min raise? Check. Yeah, he has to check it. I take my life. Check. 
He's shown it. The king high flesh is going to be good. This has probably saved Ian Woodley money. Yeah. Did you? Oh, here comes a brick on the on the <laughs> river. He doubles him up, Jesse. Like, Absolute nail on. I'm low range, and the end one thinking anything like, but terror. Has to have and the uh, it was a funny I old hand. Luke, but Luke's played it well. If, if you had a break, I would have put that down. Not even a if he bets, he, he lays it down, and he has to. Some trips on the board. What a horrible card. Stolen that whipper. Somebody behind you. Did you do the speech? Oh. Tyler on the button here. He's, 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 I guess he's lost about no, 20,000 20, in this level. Just through attrition. Um, Woodley's lost about Pass. the same. Mm -hmm. Pass. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry. Raised to 23,000 total. No one. Oh, well, this could be what this is. Look, oh. can't very well hold oh. this, can he? Yeah, very good. To Flanders. Because it's against there. Flanders, Jesse, that That's may be his good. only. You raised all in. Yep. Here we count. T Tim's just been so so active this level. I'll stand up behind the chair, Mark. Am I allowed? Okay, 23. Uh, what they do on the There'd telly. be a burn mark on the felt, yeah. Jesse, if you could see his card. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. Ace Queen, he has to call, doesn't he? Yep. I'd be very surprised if. He didn't just because it's blind on blind. Yeah. He knows that this is... Uh, Woodley's range in the, in the big blind against small blind is, is enormous. Double me up, please. I think it's, it, it looks it's quite polite, automatic from, from both both positions, but Tim's 47. well entitled to think about it. I guess he's capable of folding. I, you can't fold Ace Green. I, I, I don't think so. Yeah, I can't. Cool. I think I'm in bad shape then. Yeah. Very bad shape. Yeah. Yes, I yeah. knew that. It's just, he, he's cool played very well tonight, yeah, Woodley. Like, doesn't really seem to have gone right for him. No. Hi, King Queen. No, just Fair Queen. Uh, <laughs> diamonds in. Huh? You're up now to turn Jack again, didn't you? <laughs> no, I was just say it, I can't. I'm getting low, so. When you yeah, call, I know I'm absolutely dominated. That was a trouble right? when you yeah. called. I knew I'd done yeah. that. I know you. Yeah, I'm not calling with a, I'm not calling with a pair of nah. low pair. I knew you. Had, I knew you had ace something. No, you didn't. I was hoping it was a raggy, raggy race. Yeah. So Woodley oh, all in, nice. needing the cowboy. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> As they say. That fish. That's. It's quite a drop. would be nice. And Jack, Jack would be nice. Jack are still alive. Yeah, that would be oh, really absolutely. exciting, wouldn't it? The Jack of Diamonds. I don't want the Jack of Diamonds. I've seen that river. Take the jack of diamonds. How about the S diamonds? <laughs> yes, he would. <laughs> and uh, it'll be a just big, big <laughs> double up here for Woodley unless the ace or jack hits. Looks like you had a 40,000 in this pot. 9 10. I was thinking of making a button raise as well. He would have passed. Tim would have re raised you. Oh, wow. fuck's sake, man. Good on, man. Nice Mr. catch Woodley. from Flanders on the river. Good. Big sigh. Good on, man. Big exit. exhale and the uh, Good luck, boys. Is, uh, the exit of Woodley. <laughs> Doesn't even and the whole it. table breathed a massive sigh of relief for Woodley gone because he was the big gun at the table there, Jesse. And uh, Flanders now goes big chip leader. Yeah, Texas Tim made Texas toast of Ian Woodley. He's always the favorite when he's at this table, but uh, Woodley, ace on the river, making aces and tens and over to Kings and tens. It's always frustrating, but you, the, you know, when you've played for a amount of time, it's just, it's nothing you can, you know, you, you get used to it. You just have, you have to, otherwise it'll eat you up, you know. So, you just got to get, get on with it and uh, on to the next one. Texas Tim Flanders, somewhere between well ahead and way ahead, although Tyler is looming. It's, what do the other two have to do? Well, I'll tell you one thing Luke has to do, Jesse, is play a few more hands. He's played 16% of the hands. Um, he's only won seven of them. Um, and with the black, it's costing 15,000 around. So every four hands is costing you 15,000. Four more rounds and uh, he's going to be skinned. Right now, it, it seems like Flanders is the only one playing poker and everybody else is just playing their cards. Yeah. And with this quite aggressive blind structure, Jesse, this, this is just not going to work. Amazing. All right. This is a, this is a well, well, this is going to work. It'd be, it'd be interesting to see if Flanders can call this. He is in the big blind, or small blind, should I say. Patterson has raised at 74,000, and based on his reputation, I know these guys will believe he's under pressure, but you can't see Tyler. You can't see Tyler calling this, can you? It's just not with A3. Just currently just not in his range. 
And not with two guys behind him, that's for sure. Cole. Pass. Quick Cole. call from Flanders with the tens. And um oh, expect a corner. Yeah. This is, Seven, going, eight, this is nine, going to nine, be King Queen. sweaty <coughs> stuff here for Four. Patterson. I'd rather have Tim's hand than mine. Three out. Would you? Three. Hey, what? Uh, if this hand holds up, Flanders is going to have a I massive lead. Yeah. And well, Patterson nine, uh, so. can manage to spike the well. king and double up, but they'll all be uh, back in business. Is Patty Poker going to do it to me again? I wonder if a guy like... Please, Patty <laughs> Poker. Yeah, I wonder who Tyler's room is. No, no, no. Yeah, there's some river. Oh, that's a oh, big flop for the king. That is a, a gut that's shot, flush, drawn, fill an over card, Jesse. Yeah. Glad I didn't call you. It's about what seven hundred outs, I think <laughs> it is. <laughs> Flanders <laughs> still third. <favorite. laughs> Two clubs, by please. A, only by a piece. Sixteen again. outs, I make it, Jesse. Yeah. Four hearts. I'm sure you're yeah. right. I oh, know, 14 outs because he's got two tens in his hand, now isn't he? Yeah. Now I'm absolutely sure you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Fourteen. So do a nice flop. It's not one it's of them, but look, that's given some extra oh, outs uh, to Patterson, one. the jack now. Yep. Would counterfeit Flanders so. tens. It has to be a diamond. It has to be... It takes away straight draw possibilities because if it comes to ten, he makes the full. So Right. It has to be a diamond, a king, or a jack. Yep. Mm. Ooh. King! Oh, and Tim takes the setback. Very disturbing. Yeah. It was a horrible flop, wasn't it, in the first place? <laughs> the river gives and takes away. Patterson can stay seated. He thought this time you had it. Once the flop came down, it spelled disaster for Flanders. Oh, it was, it was a car crash waiting to happen, wasn't it, <laughs> Jesse? It really was. Um, and it wouldn't be any fun unless the, unless the, the pain came on the river. Yeah, that's why we play <laughs> the game. Oh, it it's nice. a cruel game. It's been a funny game by Tyler, it's been so unexpected, but you know, like Patterson all of a sudden, they've let him hang around so long, he's starting to look very Time strong, back. isn't he? Nice. He's really got his feet it's under 20, him now. Minimum raise. Yeah. I said same bet. I said same bet, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. technically. I'm all in anyway. This should be, <laughs> this should be all in for Luke. That solved that problem. Oh, cool. cool. And a quick decision by Patterson. He's got enough chips to take this on, I guess. Yeah. He's going to be happy with the... I think so, with King Queen. You, you hope to see an under player. Yeah. And uh, off to the races Same we go, Jesse. 149,000. It'll be the most Luke has had this whole heat if the Jacks hold. But uh, it's only a race. And uh, Patterson will go chip leader, I think, if... Um, the only saving grace is that Flanders has already folded a queen. So, um, as you can see on the graphics there, 41% for Patterson. Instant service. Cowboys have been popular. Yep. And Patton down now to just two jacks. So... It's not to be. Like, good luck. Unlucky. Unlucky. Okay. It's not good to luck. be. Nicest guy on the right. poker King, scene, but kind, tonight, mm. just a bit. Just <laughs> a bit empty. Too, but Never got out. Not no, really, long, really got yeah. out of first gear all night. No. Jesse did Luke Patton. Right. Right. Well, he's woken up with a real hand here. Ace nine. Yeah, Patterson has to think about uh, his stack size, and uh, he's got 163. He's stuck in. Oh my! Oh, he's going to be put to the test. Now let's see how he plays this. If he can muster a flat call here. How much more? 45. 45 more. Uh, Gary's got a hundred cool. back. Cool. A flop. And with Gary's, uh, his ace is just such hmm. a big hand that you... This could be a determining... Three-handed, you have to take it. You don't want to be re-raising, get him to pass Queen Jack or something, Jesse, right. do you? I just, um, Gary has shown an inclination to, to, to take these big races on. I mean, uh, but uh, and now I guess Tim has to check, does he? Check. Give Gary a chance to go all in. 
money could have all been in before the flop. I don't know. Oh, 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 he's got him perfectly, perfectly weighted by Flynn. He laid it superbly, didn't he? Yeah. He knew. I guess he I knew his I've man. Got a bit of a problem, as I say. <laughs> uh, running nines or running King Jack? Two percent. <laughs> Flanders has got him. This is Tim Flanders all the way. Your Texas Tim. The last one. Not very good, but you might. Uh... By the short and curlies he has him, Jesse. Yeah. Tyler said he needs running cards, running nines, or some weird straight draw like King Jack for a split. He's drawn dead. Yep. That's that. That's that. He's drawn dead. Gary Patterson <laughs> out from Oxford. A tempter. He, uh, like he certainly was. had his run, Gary Patterson. So I get hard. And, uh, and get hard. very well oh, to get on. back in it and give himself a fighting Stop. spot. Stop. And justice served here, Jesse, with the uh, King Nine earlier against the Tens. Well, you've seen plenty of lots of aces tonight. I think five times or something. Yeah. But yeah, Tim served up uh, some sweet revenge there. Absolutely. And uh, he, maybe that was on his mind. He wanted to wait as long as possible for getting the money in. By the time he did, Patterson was drawn so thin as uh, to be invisible. I'm Jordan myself. I think I've learned an awful lot. Um, I can't complain about the cards I had, I don't think. And. Uh, I could have played him better, I feel. Well, down to two, and Texas Tim Flanders will be feeling pretty good, Barry. He's got everything going for him. The chip lead, confidence, ready to seal the deal. But uh, the young gun, 20-year-old Josh Tyler, standing in his way, and... I wonder if Josh has got any things in the bag that we haven't seen yet. He's going to need to find something in his bag, uh, Jesse, because uh, tip-top Tim Flanders has definitely played the best poker um, and it is exactly where he deserves to be, top of the tree, got pretty much all the chips, and uh, I can only see one winner from going forward now. Well, I mean, the stacks look very, uh, the stats look very similar. Bet frequency, hands won, but it hasn't really played out like that. And I, I just think, you know, we heard so much about this Josh Tyler. Where is it? <laughs> well, Left in the uh, makeup room? <laughs> <laughs> you, you'd think that of Tyler, who does play a lot online, would be like very familiar I know. with uh, heads up play. So well, he, he said, he did say about uh, 10, 12 hands ago, he goes, oh, I play yeah. very tight tonight. He goes, I'm usually very action y. Yeah. So I think he knows it himself. I mean, Flan's sort of taken away the bluff from Tyler. Check. But Check. yet. Uh, okay. 30,000. Oh, Tyler's going to get him here. Mm. This, this may take the bluff away from Flanders. Well, he's got now, but a gut shot. Is he? That's, that's all he's got. 8 9. Maybe 6. You're beating your 7. You're beating my 7. Mm -hmm. Really? You got Queen. Oh, what's beating your 7? You got Queen. He's not going to fall for this, is he, Jesse? I don't think so. I, I... What was the bet? 30. Cool. You know... So you got the draw. No, I still know, think you I have the draw. I don't know who's getting the better of this verbal. An eight, obviously. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I don't know if Tim talked him off of raising Check. there, Check. or if, uh, if he's trying to set him up, if he's check raising here. There's a lot of I chips think, there. Maybe he just believes him. Oh, well, my dad always told me, never believe a poker player, Jesse. You think you're winning? Mm -hmm. Can Tim win with a, a bullet a on draw the draw? There's 100,000. The draw would say that, would it? I think the ace has not made well, a, a odor of difference, Jesse, because the there was really? no raise preflop. 60,000. 60,000. That's... <laughs> that's, uh... That's gutsy. This is gutsy stuff from Flanders. I mean, this is putting it all on the line here. And a quick call from Tyler. Jeez, these guys draw. can go all the way to the wall here. Yeah. And Tim's drawing very, nice very Oh, he needs thin. that eight. He needs that really eight. Nice I, I wonder if he misses yeah, it, no, if he's going to no, shove no, the no. lot in. He may have to, Jesse. Check. Check. I don't think he knows. He knows he can't win it by checking. Oh, he, he, no, he, 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 I can tell him he can't win it by checking. <laughs> he, can, he knows that. Will... How much has he got left, Jesse? It's almost like Tyler's played this to call him down, but... Well, that's a good question. He's 
got 234,000 left. He could just swallow. Check. Queen. Queen wins. You know, it's, what do you think? It's hard to say. It is hard to say, it. Barry. I, this, the Tyler might have called him. He might have just I have do done not it. know. What do you think? You just outright bluffed me? No, maybe I have the seven. 366,000. I mean, obviously, Flanders had enough not chips to lie at the table. So that Probably he could not. pull one of those no. and still be well in it. Can I give you one? No, I'm not that good. I'm not qualified not, for a nickname. You're not that good. No. Nope. Why don't you surrender? Thought I, was, thought I was doing. I love people who surrender. I check. No worries. I love this hand. Yeah? But it's not a raising hand. Just wonder, Barry, if, uh, if that is the weapon that uh, Tim Shit. has. Ouch. Oh no! Is this all over? This could be yeah. curtains. 30,000. See, the weapon that Tim has in his favor is that uh, he can play the big pot early. This all flop in. stuff. Cool. Oh no! Tim Flanders, when he sees this, is gonna realize the cold deck, and Tyler asked for it. He said, set up in my favor, please. Yeah. Set up indeed, Jesse. Although there are outs, it's not a complete lockdown for, it for, all happened before for the Tyler. Was supposed to come out. <laughs> some, a jack, a four, some running pair. Or we'll see young Josh Tyler as our winner. Yeah, he's on the verge. This 20-year-old. <laughs> Join his mate, that's Andrew cool. Feldman, in the semis. And uh, that's it. Nope, still a jack, Jesse. A right jack's going to win it. Right you are. Two outs. when I hit. Because it normally karma. Yeah, okay. Full house with the seven deuce. That's a pretty ominous hand. <laughs> and this 20-year-old Josh Tyler, he did it his way, Barry, and it seemed to work out. I never thought I'd be Played showing seven So, so, so tight hands. all the way up to heads up. <laughs> Opened up the guns, mm. heads up, Jesse. Oh, I'd and to, uh, with his wordplay and his poker play, job. bamboozled Tim. And uh, hats off to uh, Josh Tyler. Bit of a cold deck there, but... That's the way it happens with the free flops, Barry, and uh, one pair, the top pair versus the bottom two. Yes, but it was, <laughs> Tim had made his mind up that he was gonna stick it all in with top pair, and um, Tyler wasn't going nowhere with bottom two. Um, Tim had outs, but the two on the turn, near enough sealed the deal, and uh, Tyler showed he's got some game heads up, Jesse. Yeah, he'll be a danger in the semis, and Tim in the turbos. Is this the coming of the next young gun in poker? Congratulations, Josh Tyler, coming through there. Um, you didn't seem to be overawed by your first uh, time in this format on TV. Uh, I was a bit nervous at first, but I quite quickly got into my drift and gained my confidence and was with Ian Woodley. I've played with him, got a bit of history, banter, as seen. Yeah, you, you, you were sort of talking like he was your mentor. <laughs> <laughs> Def <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Tormentor. <laughs> Tormentor, yeah, indeed. <laughs> C commiserations, Tim. Uh, it, it all seemed to be going along perfect, especially forehanded. There was a bit of a lull, and you just seemed to go out and grab it. Yeah, well, I'd lost, I'd lost um, some chips of the tens, and I know, I know what I've got to do. And so I went and did it. I had a few nice cards, but they're only medium nice, but luckily I didn't run into anything at that stage. Uh, what was your plan going into the heads up, Josh? Uh, in the heads up, I was going to try and be quite aggressive. I knew Tim would uh, limp a lot and try and trap me. And I tried to speech my way to get as many free flops as I could. But I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. But that's what I do, and it paid off for me today. Yeah, it was lively banter, and I'm sure that'll continue. Tim, you got another chance in the turbos. Yeah. And Josh Tyler into the semis. Best of luck to both of you guys. Who will they be meeting there? Could be a bunch of mouths, including next time, the rematch between Annette Oberstadt and John Tabatabi. First time they've fought since the finals of the World Series of Poker Europe. Next time on the PartyPoker.net European Open 4.